the Spark Training Week uh, just to get the, back, the boys back into shape following their Christmas break. We introduced them to the footballs immediately just to get their touch and the feel for the ball back as quickly as possible. We then went into a power circuit with Chris Falk, which was around their explosivity. And then the final piece was some star runs on the pitch, more of a just controlled conditioning session. As part of the Spark programme, we monitored the training for looking at the heart rate zones and their, their intensities. And that morning in particular was a, was a high intensity session. Day two, we knew they would be tired and we looked at them in the mornings and we had to get some readiness ratings and uh, they were a little bit fatigued. But also there's a, there's a mentality to that as well. So we wanted to make them work hard, appreciate what it's like to, to play football when you're tired. So that it was a football conditioning session, a lot around counter-attacking and physically very demanding, but mentally demanding as well because there was punishments if certain targets weren't hit. And we went into some more running where we, it was really almost flat out, high intensity running. And we didn't tell the guys how many runs they'd be doing, how long they'd be out there for. So just challenge them mentally a little bit. We're trying to demonstrate they've always got one more run in them. When they think they've got nothing left in the locker, they can step up to the white line, they can go again. Today's more of a, a regeneration day, really. So we did do some football. Again, smaller games, reduced the volume of the training, got the intensity out of that. We finished off this afternoon with Mike Naylor, who works with me and does a lot of work at Southampton Football Club around uh, the nutrition as well.